Personally, I felt like it was an even exchange of effort and just awareness of what my body was asking for. Today's video, I'm going to talk about my self-care and preparation routine throughout pregnancy. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I first want to say that this video will include things that you have to pay for as well as things that you can do in the convenience, comfort of your own home or outdoors. And these are in any particular order, but I'm going to first start by talking about chiropractic adjustments. I personally saw a prenatal chiropractor and I honestly feel like it made a world of a difference. I saw her maybe three to four times and it cost about $40 to get adjusted and it made a world of a difference. I had a very beautiful, easy pregnancy and I know that there are some women who experience more discomfort throughout their pregnancy. Um, and I know that the women who do experience discomfort and the women who have experienced discomfort and seen a chiropractor say that their life has changed after getting adjusted. Um, I do want to caution that you do want to make sure that you are going to somebody who specializes in uh, prenatal, postnatal chiropractic adjustments. I saw Dr. Sarah and she is in Jersey City. I honestly would feel like a completely new woman when I went to go see her and I'm going to go ahead and insert some clips of me visiting Dr. Sura as well. She taught me different breathing exercises. She even led me to my pregnancy favorite read which is Spirit Babies and she gave me that. She gave me different birth documentaries to watch and it was just an overall learning experience. Her hands are very gifted and her energy work is in was very much in alignment with me and with my baby. And one thing, some people might be asking like, why would you go to a chiropractor when you're pregnant? And to tell you guys the truth, I've never been to a chiropractor before this experience of being pregnant. So it kind of makes you wonder like, why would you do this when you're pregnant? Shouldn't you not try anything new as far as um, physicality on your body while you're pregnant? When your spine is in alignment, which your spine has 33 vertebrae, and if you know, you know the significance of that. Your vertebrae, your spine, is in alignment with your vaginal canal, your yoni, where your baby is going to come through the earth in. So when you're not in alignment and the baby doesn't have a straight path to travel through, you can experience discomfort throughout the birthing process and it, you might not be making it as easy as you can for your baby. I know people that are watching may have different people that are leading them through their pregnancy journey, but chiropractic was completely safe for me and super essential and I 100% believe that this simple, very reasonably priced form of payment in um, exchange really helped me with my birthing process and submerse myself into a beautiful pregnancy. Because my vessel, my baby was using my vessel to come into this earth. I wanted to make sure that my body was spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally in alignment. All right, let's have your knees. Okay. And then belly. I'm gonna have to bring that down. Okay, so see the first thing is, so that tells me it's the sacral. Then we do 10 hip sways. One, two, the sacral tuberous. Make sure that's nice and loose. We basically just want everything open for the birth. Then I'm going to check the rest of her spine right here. Okay. What number is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More recent to the one I got. Feet. Oh my goodness. On her feet. One more here, okay? 
Get it. The first one, so one of these are really going to help her during the birth, okay? The first one is one hand on the sacrum, one hand on the lower back, and then I'm tractioning. So I'm, this one's going towards her head and this one's going to her feet. So it's like this. How does that feel now? Great. Okay. Or sometimes it's a little lower. Okay, so let's have you try that. The one hand? Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready. <laughs> okay, one hand on the sacrum. Good. Good. And it's always good to start more gentle and she'll tell you. Mm -hmm. She knows. I have heavy hands to be doing. Okay. <laughs> Babe, is that comfortable? How does it feel compared to what we were doing? Give him feedback. No, it feels great. His hair, he definitely knows the, yeah, no, that's great. You sit down here, let's yeah. take him. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Okay, the next like one. Right here, you were perfect. Oh, yeah, that felt good. Like this right here. He had a good connection there. Yeah. That felt really good. When when I'm in the birthing process, what position would I be in to for him to put? Um, good question. Yeah. You know okay. Yeah, you could probably be if you have a ball okay. or something, or um, okay, you might be like that. You might okay. be like that. Okay. Okay. Um, perfect. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, the next one. I know you are. <laughs> okay, so the next one, we're on the hips. And see how my fingers are pointed? That's the direction of the tr traction. Okay, so I'm going to do it now. Is that neutral? You don't like it or you like it? No, I love I, The one thing that I've been asking him to do is definitely massage before I was seeing you is definitely massaging or just putting pressure here yeah so now that you're telling me these are areas that are going to be great for the birth yeah process, it, makes, it okay. makes a lot of sense okay good okay so here we go top of the hips and you can feel it like here's the top so it's going to be like right there so. mm -hmm. okay this is the area that she forgets about <laughs> Ooh. good how does that feel? Incredible. Good. Good. Incredible. Good. Okay. Good. Excellent. Right? Yeah, right. Right there. Okay. Yes. Good. 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 You have good hands. He does. And this is usually the favorite, but it might not be the favorite today. Okay? <laughs> and we go right to the side, okay. and we're going to squeeze. Okay. 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 Now, when the baby is, it depends on where the baby is, because sometimes you will want it up here, and sometimes it's going to need to be lower. Okay. Depending, you know what I mean? Right. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, it feels good. The top. The top bit. Let's go in the dexter stuff. Let's go on Okay. So you said here. Yeah, just or on the I, side and bringing it together, like you're squeezing the butts together. Oh, like this. <laughs> yeah. How's that? Uh, that, mm, I, I think I just like the top better. <laughs> like this? Like, where you were. My shoulder. Oh, is it right here? Let me do this one. No, up. My right. right shoulder has nothing right now. Right here? Right here? Yeah, that feels good. Like, right, right there. Yeah. Good. Good. That feels great. Good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So those are the three. <laughs> good. Oh my gosh. Oh. Good. Good. I'm so grateful. Because even the day after I saw you, yeah. I was telling him, I'm like, babe, I don't understand why, but I understand why. I'm so energized. I'm just... Ready to go out. I went shopping and got some like last minute things for oh, good. the space and it's like your life force, you know? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's have you on your back. So instead of calling it a contraction. We're going to call it a wave, okay? And we're going to three breaths in, six breaths out, okay? So here we go. 
Here comes the wave. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here comes the wave. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you're going to get a little break. She's going to need something to keep her mind focused on, you know? So the counting kind of gives her a project. <laughs> and it's like you get lost in the rhythm, you know, and it, it takes over, you know, so. I got it. You got it, okay, yeah. This is my, <laughs> my teammate. He's yeah, great. you guys are a solid team. Yes. Balance. Balance. <laughs> yeah, when good. she goes into her other dimensions, you know. Exactly. Hey! <laughs> hey! You gotta support me while I'm there. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Babe, remember your breathing. He's being, Birthday candle. He's being goofy. Because if there's anyone who's really gonna be the focus and keep me grounded, it's gonna be him. Keep Yay! Yeah. So, 3 6, birthday candle. Sound and then primal. And yeah. Singing primal in sounds. praise. Yes. Yeah. And you know, the best thing is to use gravity. So standing is better than lying down. Right. And squatting is the best. Right. Now okay. this is my comfortable morning meditation oh, nice. position, just like this. Good. And I bounce. Good. Or I rock. Good. But it's, the truth is there's no rules in birth because even though that makes the most sense with gravity, your baby might want to, you to lie right. on your side, but the baby's going to tell you everything you yes, need to know. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. The next thing that I'm going to mention is daily stretching. I have a whole video on YouTube, which I will link here and add some B-roll as well, but stretching definitely changed the game. I was literally building stuff in my house up until my last few weeks, actually like two weeks before I gave birth, which isn't necessarily recommended, but I say that to say that I had all of the energy, all of the love, all of the spunk. I was just radiating in pregnancy, and I really owe it to just the way that I was treating my body. I did not treat my body any different from when I was not pregnant to pregnancy. I was very intentional with staying limber, staying flexible and being able to move and feel comfortable in my body. I was really intentional with never leaving my body to grow on its own without me learning what that new body needed. So I say that to say that yes, there were some weeks where I did not stretch, but I always made sure that it wasn't enough time for me to be like, whoa, what is this? This is my belly, didn't feel this here, can't twist here, can't do that. So I always made a conscious, conscious, conscious effort to stretch for 10 minutes in the rising. Right when I rise, before I get in the shower, put down your yoga mat and just stretch. If you wanna stretch and listen to an audio book, if you wanna stretch and reply to emails, if you can't necessarily just focus on the stretching, that's okay, build the habit and just stretch for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And for me personally, having a stretch routine where I would stretch for 45 seconds and rest for 15 was super important for me staying accountable with that. So I will go ahead and link my video here and show you some of the stretches that I did during this video was recorded in my third trimester. I was probably like, I was probably like 30, four weeks pregnant. I was, I was probably like 34 weeks pregnant in this video. During these stretching routines in the rising, it was always a place for me to either listen to my birth playlist or even listen to a audiobook. I'm super excited to mention that my favorite book that I read during my pregnancy is now available on Audible, which is Spirit Babies. Honestly, this book really helped me connect with my baby and also understand. It helped me understand my pregnancy journey as well. It really helped me be a little bit more conscious of why my baby chose me, what are the things that I needed to work on, some of the things that I needed to work on as a mother to create the most healthy environment for my baby to come into. If you are on a pregnancy journey and you need something uplifting to listen to throughout the day, I would highly recommend Spirit Babies. If you guys have not tried Audible out, you guys can get a free audiobook within the first 30 days by going to www.audible.com slash fineguru 
or you can simply text find guru to a 500 500 audible also has a whole bunch of different audiobooks that you can choose from they even have meditation playlists as well as workout routines and yes listen to something that's going to empower you as you are waking up in the rising and stretching as a beautiful powerful pregnant woman the next thing that I did throughout my pregnancy journey is going to a actual stretch studio. Kika Stretch Studio is something that I actually learned about on EYL, which is Earn Your Leisure podcast. Um, this is the largest black owned, female owned franchise in America. So that already had me attracted to it. But like a lot of people, I'm like, why would you pay somebody to stretch you? Girl, you will change your whole life if Ashley from Kika Studio stretches you because it's almost like a stretch slash massage. And I feel like just having somebody to keep you accountable track your pro progress and push you to limits in a comfortable place, obviously, because you're pregnant, and also just show you different stretches literally will change your life. After I left Kika Stretch Studio, I would feel like a weird polarity of feeling very, very energized, but then also very, very tired. I would take the best naps after Ashley would stretch me, and um, it was honestly like a, like a, a, an odd experience for somebody who's never been stretched by somebody for a duration of 45 minutes long but it's very much a massage stretch release where you really just feel tension leave your body a lot of people that go to the stretch studio are not pregnant uh, most of them will go because they have headaches or they just are very tense and honestly I've sent so many people there because I am a Kika stretch studio member i bought a package and i love it and it was essential if you have a kika star studio anywhere in your in your state city um it is a game changer to go and it's something that i did throughout my pregnancy the next type of self-care that i did throughout my pregnancy journey was getting prenatal massages let me tell you, getting a prenatal massage is so much better than getting a massage when you're not pregnant. And I also got postnatal massages as well. The pregnancy pillow that they give you for the massage just changes the game. You, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I never wanted to get to a point where I um, rested so deeply or neglected my body, in my opinion, so deeply without movement that the next time I decided to move, and when I say move, I mean stretch, work out, walk, lift things and do things like that, that it was so much of a gap in between that I didn't even know my body. I stayed very, 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 very connected with my body throughout the whole journey. So nothing ever became really challenging for me because as I grew, my strength grew and my ability to stay flexible grew as well. For me, prenatal massages were great because it just helped me relax deeper into knowing my body and the masseuses I had, once again, were Reiki masters as well, and it was just a great exchange of energy. The next part of self-care that I did throughout my entire pregnancy was work out. From the first, the first trimester, I was working out every single day. I was like reading things, obsessing over the, the internet where it said like, if you don't work out, you can't do anything that you didn't do in the first trimester, in the last trimester, and all of the things when I was obsessed with just learning more and probably not even listening to the right resources. And I think that also has a lot to do with my baby's Zodiac. And he's just a very fiery, assertive, just ball of energy. And that definitely resonated with me as a pregnant woman. Not every day my first trust. I would say my every day from... Dang, not my, I didn't work out at all my first trimester. I worked out like the last two weeks of my first trimester and then every day in my second trimester. Um, I did that because of all of the things of miscarriage and this and that and the baby. And um, when I hit, yeah, I'm lying. I did not work out. Okay, so when I finally went to the doctor, she like told me, oh yeah, you're good to work out. You're, you're good. Like you can, you were working out before so you can do it. When I'm telling you, I was so miserable, I felt gross in my body, my posture was bad, I didn't feel energetic or anything. The moment I started working out, I was so addicted to working out because I had so much energy and it resonated with me so much because I just felt like the more that I put into, into my pregnancy, the more that I got out of it 
um, in, a, in, a, in an internal level. So if I made sure to work out and to stretch in the rising, my body was like, okay, thank you for loving me. Now I'm gonna make sure you have a good day. It was kind of like an even exchange of energy. And like I said, it definitely um, makes a lot of sense now that I know my son and he's just high energy, very assertive, very fiery, very just hands on with everything. So it just was kind of like, this is not even me, this is, what my son wants me to do and it was great but no seriously every time I worked out it just the days went by so much better I wasn't sleepy I wasn't groggy um it was almost therapy or not it was almost it was very therapeutic to me and I worked out literally up into my second to last day of pregnancy and the birth was beautiful so don't know if it was the working out, don't know if it was the staying limber, but it was definitely something that was essential in my pregnancy journey. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some clips here of my workout routines. I will be editing these videos so you'll see the full videos at a later time, but I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek in some of the workouts that I did throughout my pregnancy. All right, y'all, so that concludes my video for today in some of the things that I did for self-care throughout my pregnancy journey. And I know some of y'all are probably looking like, girl, I was expecting you to be in the bath. I was expecting massages. I was expecting more pampering. But like I said, I personally felt throughout my experience as a pregnant woman that the more that I gave to my body, my, my body gave to me. And then I had an easy pregnancy and I had a very easy delivery and then postpartum I was just like I was ready to go I wasn't um I don't know if that's my age I, it's definitely not genetics let me say that um but I just per personally I felt like it was an even exchange of effort and just awareness of what my body was asking for my son was definitely wanting me to be active and by me being active I just had a blissful, peaceful, beautiful, high energy pregnancy and I'm so grateful for that. I also will say is the days that I was groggy or tired, I honored rest as well. Being active definitely helped me feel better and it empowered me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed some of the things that I was doing throughout my pregnancy. If there's anything that helped you throughout your pregnancy, share them in the comments below. Share it down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload. Peace And I forgot to mention, I will be talking about things that cost money and because I will be doing a giveaway, if you are specifically a single mom or a mom with multiple gift with multiple giveaways, with multiple kids, and this giveaway is for you because I enjoy these things and I believe that everyone should enjoy these things and the reality is that some people don't get the opportunity to so i would love to gift for women a pre or postnatal massage as well as chiropractor adjustments if we could find a good one in your area or a stretch studio if you have one in your area so the requirements is is you have to enter yourself and it is for single moms or moms with multiple kids. You don't have to tell me your business, don't tell me the business, your business in the comments. So go ahead, how do I wanna do this? I don't want you guys to tell your business in my comments. So you could either DM me or you could write it in the comments if you're comfortable with that. But I'm looking for four moms, four single moms or four moms slash single moms um, that have multiple kids. So if those are one of you, go ahead, put it down. Prenatal, postnatal, I want to hook you up. Give something that I love to you. You deserve it.